Many people have asked me how I use my dual paddle as a cootie keyer or a side swiper keyer. Um, this, this is my Kent uh, dual paddle. Uh, at the moment it's wired exactly as a, a dual paddle should be. With um, dits and dars on each side in the standard configuration. What I have done, what a cootie keyer does is, is, is effectively it's two straight keys side to side. Imagine a straight key on that side and a straight key on this side. Um, so that each depression of each paddle creates a, a dar or a dip depending on how hard and how long you press it for. Now what you can do is wire both sides together on your paddle. What I've done is because I've got the Kent keyer that I use, I've actually done some internal wiring within here and at the flick of this switch I've now wired the two sides together so you'll see what happens. So that's as if it was an ordinary straight key on that side. So ordinary straight key either side. I wouldn't want to try straight keying this way but not bad considering I'm left-handed for straight keying but so not very good. Now for side swiping or cootie keying you really need a good gap. So now that I've wired them that way I open up the contacts Get a nice big gap, I find it much. I can do it with a smaller gap, but it takes some practice. Uh, we now have a cootie key. And you can see that the hand is quite, it's quite firm, you know. I sometimes prefer to miss out the first finger. Helps to keep a bigger gap. Um, to allow you to make the character spacings. Um, and that's cootie key with a dual paddle. Flick of the switch. A bit trickier now because the gaps are a bit, bit large. And there you go, that's what happens when the gaps are large. So you can, I can use, I find a compromise I, I tend to have a slightly bigger gap than I would normally have with a dual paddle. But then using these two fingers can still cootie key. So there we go. Hopefully that's um, helped explain how I use my dual paddle as a side swiper or cootie key.